over there on the left hand side, guys, I wrote a whole bunch of things that I think will be very, very important. You can write them just on general notes um, or if you want to write them on the sheet of paper. But the main important thing you guys need to understand is when you're taking the square root or the cube root, we can only take the square root of square numbers. For instance, like 4. The square root of 4 is 2, right? We kind of talked about that with the discriminant. When you're taking the square root, when you take the square root of a square number, it becomes an integer, right? When you take the square root of a non square number, like 32, it's irrational. So I listed some of the most popular square numbers. Actually, I went up from 2 all the way to 15. So you guys should know those. You should know when you see that number, hey, that's a square number. Then I did cube numbers. I only went up to 6. Um, I did quartic kind of numbers. Only went up to, what is it, 2, 4, 5, 6, or 5. And then I also did square variables, variables that we can take the square root of and variables that we can take the cube root of. Those are the most common for us. So I can't take the square root of 32. However, can I rewrite 32 as a product of a square number yeah. and another number? Yes. And you could do it 4 times 8, but, then that's, but you always want to choose the largest square number that you can do. So I'm choosing 16 times 2. Then we look at x to the fifth. I can't take the square root of x to the fifth, but I can take the square root of x to the fourth. And then I would multiply that by x, and I can take the square root of y squared. Now, if you don't understand how you can take the square root of x to the fourth, remember that the square root of something squared is just equal to that radicand x, right? The square and the square undo each other, correct? So I can, always, I can rewrite x to the fourth as x squared squared. Do you guys agree with me that x squared squared is the same thing as x to the fourth? Yep. But now, if you want to, I'm going to do this one time, but you, this is what I'm doing in my head. You basically are solving each problem separately. So since we have a problem that's separated by multiplication, I can separate the square roots of each of them separately. So the square root of 16 is 4. I cannot take the square root of 2. The square root of x squared squared, the square root and the square are gone. So that gives me x squared times the square root of x. And then the square root of y squared is just y. So therefore, everything that's under, under the radicand is still going to remain under the radicand. And everything that's out is now out. So I have 4x squared y times the square root of 2x. And that would have been your final answer. Does that make sense? Anybody have any further questions with that?